Come on, Sprint. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Please. Are you... Mm. This mother lover... Oh my, oh my, Yehovah, come on. Why? 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 Oh my God, oh my God. It's worse than land nav. I can't do it. This is some bullshit. Fucking YouTube, man. It's Hans Hood! Are you serious, Private? It's been like two seconds! How would you not move as a position of attention? We're moving our bridge. We got a tank on here, see? Well, that's not a personnel carrier, but yeah, I can move tanks. It's cool, though. It's like a tank. Education. Look what we made. We made a bridge, man! It's a bridge! A big one! A friendship! Triangle on mission 7-Eleven. It is a go! Rob says yellow. Bro, we're stateside. I'm sick, Pogue! Shit! Get out of the van. We're going shopping, bitches! Hey, Joseph, on highway, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I'm building a bridge. Well, why did we stop? Why did we stop? Well, because all the tools for building the bridge are locked in a shed that only a civilian can get, and he'll be here in, oh, five hours. Sally, Rebecca, Susie, Bethany, your mom. Ooh, and that um, pop pop. Oh, those they were kinky. Who's Jody? Hey. Give me a Coke. Keep your face until you throw up. Sound off in cadence. I can't hear you. Cool air freshener. That's a freedom freshener. It comes in bloom dust. Supply room. Desert queen. Ranger. Desert porta potty. Yellow bird. PTSD. Bird pit. Jody. Hell yeah. Hey, Sergeant. Hi. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm poking holes in the ground for like the past three hours. Why? Because I'm looking for landmines. Find any? No, but I found this dog shit. Oh, please play another one. Yes, sir. May I have another? Please. You are a coward. You are a coward. You put yourself in a way greater place than you know it. I've seen Somali pirates look at me like they want to fucking kill me. Now, what really gets my goat about this whole video is that it's a Navy dude. It makes me want to do what up, squid? You know what I love? When morons like you wear a uniform out to protest, it just means you want attention. So let me give you some of that attention. How much you serve something greater? He ain't serving something stupid. He's gonna spend 20 years trying to collect a pension, serving a community that he loves and lives in. Nice beard. You got lined up, but you couldn't get that trimmed off when you put on your gosh dang duds. You stupid piece of trash. Probably got dishonorably discharged from the frickin' Navy. Did you just call this guy a coward? You pathetic freak, you messing puddle of piss? You and Somali pirates. Look at you. Now, I've seen Somali pirates look at me like they want to fucking kill me. Look at you. I'm an engineer, and even I know that is some pogue shit that just came out of your mouth. This guy is literally trapped among hundreds, if not thousands of people who hate each other, and you have the balls to call him a coward? The best story you have is how three dudes in a beat-up fishing boat with a couple AKs drove up past your naval ship and you looked at each other? Stupid semen. What were you gonna do? Grab a rifle? Oh, wait, I forgot. You had to go to the nearest Marine to protect you, didn't ya? Didn't ya? You're the type of guy that would probably claim that as PTSD. I bet the only time your boots touch the dirt is when you stopped off in Djibouti to get some gosh dang green beans. Speaking of Djibouti, 
I'm about to get all up in yours, son. You're in the Horn of Africa. It's not even a combat zone. What kind of ship are you on? The USS can't find a pair? The USS gets spotlocked? The USS change my drawers? The USS scouty cat? The USS peed my pants? But you know what really gets my go? The fact that you've got the balls to go up to somebody two inches from their face, scream obscenities, call them a coward, and make them feel like nothing. Because he has to practice restraint. Something you obviously don't have. You're a piece of trash. Oh. Yeah. So true. Oh, I love seeing these. I mean, I don't love... Yeah, you know what I mean. My name is Chaplin Ernest Walker. That's the most senior uniform I've ever seen! Ooh, November! A chaplain? <laughs> You're gonna need to talk to Jesus when this is done! Uh, obviously, uh, I am a uh, military veteran. Why aren't you saying army? Did you forget what uniform you picked out of the dumpster? You decided to put on the most jacked up pair of dress blues I have ever seen. You're slick sleeving it up. You got nothing on there. Dress blues were issued to enlisted men in 2010. That's barely seven years ago. How horrible of a soldier were you that you couldn't even make it to E2? Where the frig are your friggin' service stripes, guy? You saying you spent less than three years in the army? How long could you have possibly been in? Things that are longer than your military career. Burke Dell's imprisonment, most of my pairs of underwear, Chelsea Manning's pecker. Where the hell is your army service ribbon? The rainbow ribbon! The one everybody gets just for passing basic training! Did you not pass basic training? The only medals you've got on your chest are for marksmanship, and they're so jacked up, looking like Helen Keller tried to put those things on. Or you came from a bad game of pin the medals on the dipshit. Now, I'm pretty sure they're cross rifles, but I know your insignia on your collar did a freaking 90 degree turn just to get away from your stank ass goatee. Well, face! Oh, shit! I'd ask you why you didn't shave before you put on your uniform, but you already answered that question, showing up in a uniform looking like a bag of smashed assholes. Speaking of loose sphincters, that frickin' beret looks like you took a dump in a diaper and turned it upside down. And that flash ain't supposed to be in the center of your face. Make you looking like a handicapped cyclops. It's supposed to look like this over your left eye, TLC. Unless you're special forces. Like this. See? You can't even tell who I am right now. Until it's too late. Special forces. Now I notice you got a 25th ID crest in the center of that, buddy. Who was your platoon leader? The Tropic Lightning sure laid a Tropic Deuce with you. Who served with that soup sandwich? Oh, God! Keep your shirt on, Pillsbury Doe Douche. Does not take a knee. We didn't take a knee for our independence. We didn't take a knee at Pearl Harbor. We didn't take a knee when the Twin Towers fell. Soldiers strike forward and execute their mission and personal goal. The U.S. Army stands tall as an amalgamation of people from all walks of life. We stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemies of the United States. We do not wear a garbage uniform so we can open up our shirts like some Superman with type 10 diabetes. I'm Wilfred Brimley and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes, about diabetes, about diabetes, about diabetes. But he was like, like a couple chromosomes short of a full like standing upright human. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, guys. If you're just jumping on, you can look in the description down below. There's a PDF file that has a bunch of randomized sovereign citizen bingo cards on it. Uh, we're in the process of making our own sovereign citizen bingo cards. They're going to have way more phrases, but this is what we have to work with right now. The chat is detaining you. How many people we got watching right now, guys? All right, let me go ahead and clear my card. We're going to skip this when we were, we just did this. Oh. Oh, and you're is. I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, too much outside fucking moon dust in my lungs. Oh, yeah, that was good. I needed that laugh before I fucking hit the rack. Hey, thank everybody for their service. Past, present, and future. Oh, my Lord Jesus. 
Oh my. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Look at that tattoo. I mean, why is that so funny? <laughs> why is that so funny? <laughs> I wish I was live. <laughs> why is that so funny? Oh my god. I really fucking. Ooh, I pulled some muscles laughing on that one, but it is worth it. Oh, woo. Woo, <laughs> smash bag of assholes. I've heard that before, but that was just funny. Oh, I want to monkey stomp your ass, Brats. Monkey stomp it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. If laughing at that sends me to hell, hell, I'll lead the way. Just like the Rangers do. <laughs> I do not need it, so I can't do it. Oh, I can't deal with reality right now. Oh my god, I need a baby heart. <laughs> that was good. Just so just so you made me laugh, Drew so oh, oh, thank you. I needed that. I gotta watch it again though. It was that fucking funny. Illegally doing this. I. And then I'll give you the. <laughs> That's <laughs> Tank on here, see? Plus, I'm a personnel carrier, but yeah, I can move tanks. It's cool though, it's like a tank. Education. Look, are we. Let's see this one. You know why nobody's afraid of ISIS? Why? Because they don't do any training like this. All they do is jump around, do jumping jacks, and go off jungle gyms in the desert where it's dry and nice. You know what we do? We go through shitty weather, doing shitty training, in shitty uniforms with boots that soak up water. That way, when we go over there and get shot up and blown up, we go, this is great! I can't wait to deploy again! I'd go back, ask any vet. They'd always go back. You know why? Because you don't want to be here doing the shit they were doing. We'd rather be going and getting shot at and blown up because it's better. Not today, ISIS. Not today! Hit me with a hoo Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah! Not today. Mouth noise. Angry girl are Hates mouth noises. Let's check this out. Mm. 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 Ah, freaking mouth noises! Ah, ah. Shut your slurp gurgling mouth up! No one wants to hear those gosh dang mouth noises! Sounds like a cutscene of Debbie Does Dallas! Like two grandparents who took their dentures out to tongue kiss with a mouth full of mashed potatoes like an octopus's suction cups going over glass like the wet squish of a rubber boot going through dog shit like my porn hub search history like a puss filled pimple being popped like your fist in a thanksgiving turkey like you got the hershey squirts squeezing out a tube of preparation h like a sweaty fat guy trying to go down a dry water slide tongue kiss with a mouth full of mashed potatoes God, this dude's funny. Oh, man. Uh, Hi, sir. I pulled you over because you didn't use your blinker back there. Is everything okay with it? I'm sorry, officer. I really thought that I used it. All right, just do me a favor. Put it on. I'll just go back there and check it out. Make sure it's working. Sure. This son of a bitch. So how's the blinker working? It's working freaking fine, thank you. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Does it look like everything is okay? Jesus Christ, lady. Settle down. You know what Super easy, it's right there! It's not that big of a deal! You mean big as in like, am I big? Like, did I gain weight? No, 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 no! Does it look like I'm fat? I didn't mean it like that! Well, what do you think? I'm eating burgers in my uniform? I didn't mean it like that! I'm the guy that can't use my freaking blinker! I must be too busy or too dumb to figure it out! A little? Why would you admit you assume that? Are you okay? There's nothing wrong! Where is this coming from? I'm- 
Airman what? I, Robin E. Brown. I, Robin Brown. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. What is this? What is this? What is this? Why is a sock puppet doing an enlistment oath with a master sergeant? Just what I thought. I couldn't hate the Air Force anymore. I bet it's an ingenious ploy so that when she gets deployed, she can say, oh, no, 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 I never enlisted. The puppet did. I'd be less mad if she wasn't so crappy at it. She's so uncoordinated, she can't open her mouth and the puppets at the same time. Uh, 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 uh. How can that hand puppet even swear in? It doesn't have a right hand to raise. This has got to be a behavior therapy puppet, like the ones that lawyers use to talk to kids who were sexually abused. Can you tell me where it hurt when the infantryman called you a pogue? Show me on the sock where the recruiter touched you. That puppet's got to fit in fine in Tennessee, because it's got horrible teeth, just like everybody else who lives there. This airman must have such severe PTSD from dodging deployments, avoiding rifle qual, from checking your ID when you enter the gate, from changing all those flight manifests in Iraq when they were canceled because the pilots were tired, and jumping up to get her second helping of Joel at the deep back that she needed to find comfort in her security puppet. She looks like she calls that Colonel Jerry. She looks like one of those NCOs that brags about staying home from deployment and says that she worked harder than you, and that even though you were over there, her job was much more intense. I smell feet each time both of you opens your mouth. This looks like a grimy Sesame Street version of the casting couch. That puppet's gonna do some things to stay in. I've never seen somebody so mentally fragile in my entire life. I thought the Air Force had all the money. They couldn't get a Muppet. They get some horrible knockoff version of Sacco. I wish mankind would come in here and just... What do you have to say for yourself, Private Snowball? Let me see your war face. Sir, you got a war face? Ah! That's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Ah! Bullshit. You didn't convince me. Let me see your real war face. Ah! You don't scare me. We're coming. Sir, yes, sir. Are you shook up? Are you nervous? Sir, I am, sir. Do I make you nervous? Sir. Sir, what? Are you about to call me an asshole? Sir, no, sir. I'll call you, Private. Sir, five foot nine, sir. Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. You trying to squeeze an inch in on me somewhere? Huh? Sir, no, sir. Bullshit. It looks to me like the best part of you ran down the crack of your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress. I think you've been cheated. Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? Sir, Texas, sir. Uh, Holy dog shit. Texas, only steers and queers come from Texas. And you don't much look like a steer to me, so that kind of narrows it down. Yeah. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir. Are you a Peter Pepper? Sir, no, sir. I'll be watching you. No, don't do that. No, don't do it. You're going to play it. Don't play it. God damn it! What the fuck is the goddamn regret giving me now? Holy shit! I never seen a. I'm, I'm sorry, people. I suck, okay? I suck. I suck in life. Hard work, work. There we go. I support the Second Amendment. I don't support doing away with it totally, but hey, honestly, they change the wolfies all the time, right? So, maybe a revision is needed, but I think a revised Second Amendment better include the same shit that the first one does. Right to bear arms. The right to take arms up against a tyrannical government. I don't think the government's tyrannical. I think there's some backwoods. Backwoods bow tie. Go check out the family. Oh man. I gotta get off here. One more. And I'm done. Story time. Boom. So no shit, there I was at the CTMC, basically where the privates go when they get a boo-boo. I see one private sitting there, he's got a tattoo on his forearm, 701st. Now you're like, oh, what's that got to do with anything? This idiot gave himself a prison tattoo of his battalion in basic training. He took ink from a pen and a thumbtack from the wall 
and dotted it in his freaking forearm and gave himself a tattoo. Now you're going to be like, well, hey, that guy sounds like a pretty badass mofo. He's an idiot. Now there might be some civilians who don't understand this, so let me break it down. Your basic training unit is just for basic training. They don't actually deploy or go anywhere. That's just where you sit down for basic training and those numbers are so they can identify where you're at. Someone needs to get a hold of you. So this idiot gets a tattoo of a place he's only going to be for basic training. That's it. Didn't even do anything. You climbed some rope and did some push-ups. whoop de friggin I did. Oh, well. About time to hit the rack, people. It's 0320 in the morning. Why is this jet busting into the sky? Didn't we learn our lesson when the Navy was drawing dicks in the air? Well, now it just looks like you're yanking your doodle dandy, letting off some jet jizz, busting a Liberty nut, shooting some gunner gravy. Instead of watching the rocket's red glare, I'm watching the glare come off of this red rocket. Lubricated the landing strip. Looks like you took off too soon and suffered from premature ejaculation. Dropping a Liberty load, giving a freedom facial, shooting some supersonic smegma. The moment every Marine realized that General Mattis became sect, Death. Dropping the Bukaki bomb, overcleaned your cockpit, freeing the frogman, releasing the rear admiral, unloading your lethal weapon, shooting a seaman's gun. Looks like you're locked, cocked, and ready to. <laughs> it's like every morning of a young man going through puberty, the aftermath of an awkward high school dance. No man crush. I don't. The GI romp. From the people that brought you the cop romper comes the U.S. military's G.I. Romper. With its streamlined design, soldiers can go back to a more fitted uniform. No more baggy, wrinkly uniform tops. No more pesky boot blousers. No more belts. And no more stupid Velcro. PT just got a whole lot easier with the G.I. Romper's patented design. You don't have to constantly tuck in your PT shirt after each exercise. A cotton Kevlar blend gives you protection from small arms fire and excess perspiration. The G.I. Romper blends into your environment, unlike that weird digital blue bullshit. At first I was worried about the G.I. Romper not fitting in with the military, but after wearing it for several months, I can say it fits in perfectly. I can get really close to the private's faces and scream at them while they're doing push-ups. I am much more agile, I don't sweat nearly half as much, and the fabric is so much more breathable. Now it's been years since we've been allowed to roll our sleeves, and thank God for the G.I. Romper, because I'm letting these puppies breathe. What about the wear and tear on your knees? My response, I ain't in the freaking Navy! The G.I. Romper can be found at any post exchange and is guaranteed to piss off your sergeant major. America! America! Oh, grass, I'll abuse the stars. Thank them. All right, here we are. Flips out over salute. All right, one more. I'm done. Did you miss it? Let me show you that again. Look closely. Do you see it now? Awesome. What the hell is this? What is this? Is that a proper salute? I don't think so. At first I thought that was an army guy. Oh no, oh no, it's my brothers. My cranny and glue slurping brothers, the Marines. How the hell did you jack that up? Somebody needs to haze him. I'm gonna haze you. Hey Marine, what's up? Did you forget where's the salute? Do you not know where the brim of your hat is? Let me show you. It's right in front of your freaking eye. It's right here. It's right in front of your eye. It's not back here. You got a stand jack wagon. I got an idea. Maybe you're just fooling around. Maybe you're talking on your cell phone. Not in front of the president, you weren't. Ooh, what's back here? You brushed your non-existent hair to behind your ear? You got a stand hippie? I know. Maybe you thought it'd be funny and say, Hey, Mr. President. Whoop. Too slow. You. Uh, I should choke the shit out of you. How in the hell did you think that back here was a good place to stop? Oh my god! Is there a side view? Just look at the side view. They must have knew you were gonna jack it up, cause they put a dude to the left of you to make sure that you could look over in case you forgot how to salute, which you did! God, I hope your gun gets a hold of you. Oh, I wanna drop kick you in the chest! Breach kick right to the chest! I hope your gunny skull drags you to chow every morning! That? Hey, that... He, I, this dude, oh, that's the wrong thing. This dude is hilarious. Actually intending to stream to YouTube this time. Check him out. Drill fire on, wish I had. Cool. There we go. Red Sweet. Red I discovered if I stream more than two hours, it only keeps two hours of the stream in the VOD. Mm -hmm. 
So, so just do it for two hours, homie. Yeah. I think we're probably going to do like, maybe like an hour tonight, if that, because I, I do. There you go. I was going to say, keep it down. We're going to keep, keep it down. down. You can always do more episodes, get more views.